Okay, now we have the bone tile with the birch glove. Venetian gold. Ubatuba. Galileo. And tan brown. On bone. With these two tie carpet colors. So how do we do? Well, this is. Let me tell you what's in this. Okay. Um, this is your give you a different views here. I'm actually not liking um, so the bone tile very much. It's a little bit on the gray, gray side. And again, I'll show you. This is the sand. Those two. This in the um, on the screen it looks a little darker. It's a little, definitely a light tan. It's a light tan. Just moving, trying to get some good lights there. I think this is um, quite light, but if you wanted to go with that one, um, you're gonna need. You'd want to do the, the lighter carpet. In fact, let me just pull one more carpet up. This one I think is very light. And it's got a gray in it. This is called that Salt Marshes. Um, this is m matches that. It's kind of got the same gray right undertone. I want to put some stuff together. Uh, some combinations and uh, okay I've put together um, my favorites here depending on if you like to go the light route or the dark route on the cabinets this is your clove birch cabinet Venetian gold and the um, ubatuba I put them on top of the cabinets because really your counters are going to be on top of your cab or your base cabinets anyway. This is my favorite. It's the mushroom. And I left both carpets here because I think they both go well. It just depends on if you want to have less of a transition or if you want to have m more of a transition into the bedrooms. Of course the dark will show less dirt, maybe have less care. But there's also a sheen on the carpet, and so this one is a little bit shinier than this one. Even if this does look shiny, it's less noticeable um, because of just the color itself. So, again, that's Ubatuba. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This is, um, yeah, yeah, gosh, I don't know why I keep getting that confused. Ubatuba. Your kitchen. Is and this is the Venetian best. gold. I'm guessing it's going to be about 56. Um, I think that they look the nicest with the, the cabinet. This countertop, this back to back. Right. That Birch. countertop is. Um, this is the Galileo. Feet. I wrote down countertop somewhere. Where did I put that? You gave it to me. Oh, okay. Yeah, the countertop is 1250. I'm just talking but about But I think that the Galileo kind of doesn't go great and with this flooring right no as that. much as um, this one does. This one has a little bit more contrast, a little bit more interest. Right. In the top, right. And here's your tan brown. And again, I think th this is a nice combination with your cabinet, but it lends itself to have some of mauve colors as an undertone. So that's why I took this one out. And I didn't like that one as much. I thought it fought a little bit. So I like Venetian gold, and I like. The okay. Uba Tuba. Uh, and then back to you. Let's talk about Are you shocked at that? Now, think oh, about when you have a light flooring, then you're going to have this cabinet. So I think you're okay if you go with the light. And then you're going to have cabinets above again. And then your Uba Tuba. Now, let me get some black to show you what it would look like with your uh, appliances. Right, I know. So there, but it's so funny because here, woods are they particular? Okay, here's a piece of black mm -hmm. to kind of represent your um, appliance. Mm -hmm. With the Venetian. 
in the uba tuba so it kind of definitely kind of goes into each other there if you like the contrast there you go there and this is the mushroom again i like the contrast clove birch Galileo, tan brown, Venetian gold, Uva Tuba. The black piece in the center. It's the shiniest solid black I could find to represent your appliances. Okay. That's how you know it's not cheap. Uh, I don't know, it's just, I just have the, the top of it coming by a piece. Okay, I wanted to show you too the carpets that she had pulled out, that Katie pulled out, that are normally used in the specs. And it's these three here because they show less wear. These are more than just the first upgrade level, but I think that you already got um, the, the upgrade uh, amount from Nicole on these. Um, the first name, just if you want to have this. Um, winter dusk, winter dusk here. Um, Ocher tint, Ocher tint. That's a, kind of a goldy brown and dried peat. And this is almost like a khaki, um, a little bit of a gray green. Um, they they feel a little different than the others. Let me just show you. Um, and I think you decided to go with the base one, but I want just want to show you the difference so you can see for yourself. Sorry, it's really difficult to do this with the camera, but I really think it'll help you. Um, you can see kind of the um, how long the the carpet fibers are there um, it's it feels a little bit uh, denser this one feels um, a little less dense but but you can see here the fibers it's very similar guys um, let's do side by side here. probably not helping you at all but anyway I wanted to just let you know um, as far as how the how how tightly it's woven in here um, on the one for the specs um, I only see one strand coming up uh, no that's not true I see two strands coming up from each hole also um, I think that the holes are just a little closer together on this one so the weave on this one's just a little bit more um, but this one actually feels a little um, softer, or maybe it's just the, the, the fiber, um, because it's a little bit shorter, it, it, it has a little bit more. This one um, is a little bit uh, rough, like more texture you feel, it's not quite as soft. And I think it's because there's some that are cut high, some that are cut low, just to kind of give it a little bit more dimension. That's the biggest difference I see between these. I'm gonna grab the base carpet um, and the padding, and the first level upgrade padding, just so that you can see the difference visually. Um, and then I'm gonna put another thing together for you to look at with cabinet.